myths that happen in vocal cord stuff is uh, drinking tea, hot tea or lemon, um, gargling apple cider vinegar before you sing, um, uh, eating potato chips, really greasy potato chips before you sing, are uh, similar to putting your right sock on before your left if you're a professional baseball player because you tend to hit better home runs that way. Uh, they are myths. None of those things actually hit your vocal cords or grease them up or clean them off. They may clean out your throat or grease your throat up, but it has nothing to do with the actual vocal cord. If anything goes that far down your throat and actually talk, even comes close to your vocal cords, you will hack really hard. And if it does touch your vocal cord, um, you're probably in danger. And the last thing you'll be thinking about is singing because you're probably heading to an emergency room or that sort. So those are myths. If it makes you feel better and you want to do that, that's fine. But anatomically, they do not touch the vocal cords. Just keep yourself health healthy and your vocal cords just should remain healthy too. The same things apply. If you push yourself too hard when you train with weights, you're going to push. If you do the same thing with your vocal cords, they will break down just like your body will break down. So um, go with what's anatomically correct for your body, and the same thing applies for your voice. All the weirdness, if, it, if you feel better about it, do it, but it's not necessary.